As far as uh, employee retention, um, this is one of the things, as I was talking about, that we are very, very fortunate to have good people here that have stayed with us for a long time. Now, is there a key? Is there a secret? Is there a, uh, is there a well, your what reason? And, and personally, I'm going to give you my reasoning. As we know, our business is March, April, May, June. That's when the bulk of our business is. And I think we have 13 people, basically, uh, here. All right, we've got to find something to do for them in July, August. September can keep us busy, October can keep us busy, and November can keep us partially busy. But December, January, and February, what do we do with those 13 people and keep them here rather than say, go home, draw your unemployment, that's, that's a hard issue right there. Now, if there's any way possible to keep them year-round, which is hard to do, because you've got the same amount of money going out each month, and you don't have the same amount of money coming in. It has some benefits that may be part of the equation, and it may be that they just like working in the wintertime and not be pushed, but come springtime, yeah, they're pushed. Um, but they're, they're, they're and, and we, it's not all rosy, as we might think. Uh, we have our ups and downs, and, uh, but we do we do try to find something to do, repair work, uh, clean it up, straighten it up. I think that is, and, and they like their work. I mean, they like to be out here and working. They like the work they do out here, whether it be driving a truck, waiting on people or whatever. 